<laughs> Me? Yeah, I wasn't running, mate. I'm all right. Um, yeah, no, it was a uh, fairly uh, eventful finish again and uh, obviously pleased to come out on the positive side. And, I guess, you know, you had a you hope that things get better than this because you want more substance, but as the start goes and that feeling at the end and the dramatic mm. nature of the game, I can't imagine, you could imagine it would have been as good as this or could get much better than this at this stage or your talking through it. Yeah, look, I, I think I've been at pains to say that I, I don't have a, a schedule on marking it against you. Know, it is what it is, but fair to say that you know we've had some you know significant challenges in the first sort of seven weeks of the season, and the way we've dealt with them, I've been really pleased. Yeah, for sure, 100, percent including today. I mean, you, you obviously you want to put the game to bed a little bit earlier than what we did, but sometimes when you score that late, it just helps. You know, continue to build that belief within the group and the spirit within the group that you know we we have that in us to to go to the last minute. Um, so yeah, all these things you know, like I said, they're not by design. That it, it's just the nature of the game. And you know, I'm not I'm not sort of sitting here thinking we've um, you know we're ahead of like I said some schedule that yeah. You know, I understand why other people probably had that in their mind because you know they're, they're kind of making prognostications on on the information they have. But for me, it's just not of interest to me because I just don't know how far we can go with the group. We just got to keep pushing on. And we, we, in this country, we, we are wrestling a bit with VAR and the technology, and there's been a big mistake today for the offside goal. Um, do, you, do you think we are still going in the right direction with all this this technology? And, and clearly, it's going to take the kind of reputation and reliability that was taking a big hit today. PJ Moore will have to deal with that. Yeah, look, I mean, I'm. Oh, oh, you might have to dig up some research on me, mate, I, but I, I think I'm on record saying that I've never really been a fan of it um, since it's come in. Um, not for any other reason that I just think it really, you know, complicates areas of the game that I thought were pretty clear in the past, but I can see... <laughs> Same time, why it was inevitable that the technology would come in, but you know, I guess we 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 have to deal with it. But the biggest problem I think I, that we have or we seem to fail to grasp is that no form of technology is going to make the game errorless. We used to, you know, we used to understand that errors were part of the game, including officiating errors, and you and you you know you'd have to cop it. Some cop, you know, some people copped it better than others, but that was part of the game, you know. The, the game is littered with historical, you know, refereeing decisions that weren't right, but, you know, we all accepted it. That's part of the game because we're dealing with human beings. But I think people are under the misconception that VR is going to be errorless. Well, I don't think there's any technology because so much of our game, you know, isn't factual. It's not it's down to interpretation and they're still human beings, you know, and they're going to make mistakes the same way managers make mistakes, the same way players make mistakes. Um, so I think when you put such a high bar on something, it, invariably it's going to fail. So if people are thinking that VAR is going to be something at some point that is perfect, that's never going to happen. Andrew, did you think the two sendings off were justified? Again, you know, hard for me to, to, to comment on decisions on, on opposition teams. I thought the first one, I mean, Biss has got a decent whack on his ankle, so it didn't look great. I just thought the second one came from our pressure, to be honest. I thought we were pretty relentless in the second half and, you know, we, we, we didn't allow them to, to sort of, you know, breathe. We obviously had the man extra and, um, you know, there was a fair few fouls and I just think there was an accumulation of those things. But, you know, again, their decisions against another team, uh, you know, I haven't commented on decisions on, against our team this year. There were, you know, a couple of times I felt could have gone either way. So um, I'll leave for others to sort of decide whether they're right or wrong. And how pleased were you still to find a winning goal, even though you second saw and assume uh, Madison off the pitch? Yeah, look, I mean, we, we, we want to be a team that kind of, um, you know, has multiple avenues to, to score goals. We, we had to create that because obviously... <coughs> With Harry going, there was a fair chunk of goals leaving the team automatically, so we weren't going to replace that um, with one player. We, we needed to sort of make sure that the way we set up as a team gave us opportunities to score from different areas. And look, I thought we we 
thought we started the game really well. So did Liverpool. I thought it was a good game at the start. Um, then, you know, they went down to 10 men and I thought until we scored we were really good and then we lost our way a little bit. I just thought we, we, we kind of rushed things over, did things a uh, bit too individually in that sort of back end of the first half and that allowed them to, to get an equaliser. And the thing about Liverpool is that even with 10 men, they're still the same threat because, you know, they prey on mistakes. They've got world-class players in transition. And, and we were a bit naive, I thought. Um, but second half, I thought we were better. I thought we controlled the game a lot better, played in their half, a bit more calm. Probably didn't vary our attacks as much. But having said that, I mean, Allison's just pulled off some unbelievable saves, and, um, and we just had to stay calm. Yeah, he's, he, look, he wasn't 100. percent But you know, I had a chat to him yesterday. He was desperate to play, and he was going to give what he could, and. You know, he did. You know, he was, he was never going to play the whole 90. We were always going to give him sort of an hour or so. Um, but he led from the front again. He was the one that sort of was doing the pressing and, and, and instigating, you know, the, the, the defensive pressure we put on, it, on Liverpool and got his goal as well. So, again, you know, great uh, captain's effort.